Bring me the name of every guilty man. Sir. Sure. I have worn out the bright promise of my days for you, Pentheus. To me, your thick city walls are a luxury. They do not protect me. If they fell, then I would be what I dream of being, Pentheus. Free. Free to follow the rising sun at dawn. Free to return at evening from fields of my own which I would till with my own hands. Free to refuse the persuasions of a king. The manacle biting like a claw at my ankle. The lash burning the persistence of your task into my soul's muted as flesh. The mud made bare clad hovel home you stable me in. The earth I sleep hard upon, which denies me the warm cedar wood, the cool stone of the village I grew up in, the stream, the water mill, the forest, the ripeness upon the corn at harvest, the long lost loveliness of a woman whose form my eyes retain before sleep in your darkness. Look, you have whittled away the brief years of my beauty, Pentheus. The days when my body, my bones, my teeth were still animal strong. The season when my heart might have sung love songs of its own. These should have been as a gift to manhood in manhood's prime from the gods in heaven. Once these were mine, Pentheus. They will not come again. Instead, you tore me unregarding out of childhood and set me to work at your ramparts, turning the stones for your endless iron roads, digging the filthy, intractable earth to find spaces for the airless dungeon houses which filled your dreams. Oh, Pentheus, because of your sullen ambition, I have never known holiday, festival, feast day, marriage day, day of child's nativity, any day which the gods ordain, so that love may live among us and nurse us gently to hope. Oh, it is hard and ugly to see how corroding time eats youth away, how strength and capacity are nothing, only promises broken by captivity. In your service we live not as men, but as ghosts. Look, though we die swift as the wild flood under the frost, yet in our death we are happy. We lose only our misery, poverty, and slavery. These who are not secure, not contented, these look to the sky and bless the whirlwind. They hear below the horizon the vibration of the tiger's paw, the rhythm of the war drum. They do not curse them. They rejoice. They know that nothing will ever change for them without the catalyst of war. Who are you? My doors are guarded and locked. How did you get in? I can pass at will through solid stone. Then you are a phantom. Touch me. I am real. <laughs> you speak the truth. I was told that the prisoners had escaped. They think they have cheated me. But I know what they are doing. What are they doing? They are worshipping their god in unnatural ways. They lie on their backs under the stars. Their prayers are prayers of licentiousness. They think that joy and idleness fit together like gloves. 
I will go to Kithiron. I will see for myself what is being done. There I will arrest them. They will know by your clothes that you are the king. I will dress as they do. I will dress as a woman. They are many. You are one. They are weak. No, they are strong. You have oppressed them beyond reason. You have put this mania into them. They raised rebellion. They have done the city harm. I am here to warn. These are my own. Hurt none of them. They have eaten the bread which is my flesh. They have drunk the wine which is my blood. Do you seek to obstruct me in the execution of my authority? I warn you. I will kill the man who stands in my way. I will not prevent you. How may that be? A god cannot die. But life is soon beaten from the frame of a man. Then your magic is nothing. Only emptiness. It is what it is, Pentheus. Do not touch these. They are mine. To me they came running like bride to groom. Our slavery is broken, they sang. Earth is given in marriage to heaven. Their hearts were leaping for love and love's intoxication. You alone have spoken against them and declared the wedding is not lawful. The guests shall be barred, the music silenced, and the house darkened as if for a funeral. And now they dance their freedom in thorn break and forest, where Orpheus once brought music to charm the stubborn wilderness of elm and oak and merciless climbing ivy. There, by the sweetness of his melody, he gathered the creatures to him, releasing them from the burden of age-old savagery with song and intimations of wild, ecstatic joy. All these I protect, and every blow which you inflict falls upon me, and I suffer it as mine. Every time you kill a man, the wine I delight in turns to blood, and the blood is my blood. Why? They are slaves. They are women. I am in the slave more than in the free man. I am in the one who starves more than in the one who is sufficient. Understand, you and the beggar and the broken and the condemned are one. When you are as they are, then you will be whole. Who are you? I am the corn threshed upon the threshing floor. I am the vine, cropped and pruned to nothing. I am the dead man who lives and is eternally young. I have seen the torches burn to herald the dawn. I have heard the voices moan in ecstasy or pain. What magic or what ritual does the night conceal? The god's effigy is garlanded with flowers and hung upon a tree. Then it is buried under stone where for three days and nights it must remain. On the third day, before dawn, a lighted torch is carried to the tomb. There, the initiated one witnesses in flame the miracle of life's resurrection. Is there meaning in an effigy? A wooden nothing? No. You play at immortality as children do. How may thought acknowledge what lies beyond the scope of language unless the heart is free by image to see as the eye sees? Oh, witness, these things which are enacted, these are the shadows and shapes which redeem. You lie. Rise at dawn. Ride out above the city as I have often done. Observe. Peaceful in the morning, the wooded hill below the summit of Kithiron. Yet, in every bush, in every ditch, under every blade of grass, the beetle is eaten. The ant and fly are consumed by the agile spider. Out of the air, the predatory bird brings death in a coil of movement. The snail is smashed from its shell. 
the scurrying mouse, the lingering earthworm, they perish like trash. If these creatures could scream, our ears would drown in their din. And this is the world which you say God is master of. <laughs>